everyone. It's Kita Knight here. I haven't um, been that active lately. Um, years, actually. Um, but so, this is my Duluth, Minnesota vlog, and I'm getting back into it. <laughs> um, I arrived in Duluth this morning. Uh, actually, not this morning. This evening. Sorry. I'm really tired. And um, I have a doctor appointment, uh, surgery thing, procedure thing tomorrow. Um, and then after that, um, once I am cleared to go, I will be walking around and showing you guys some sights in Duluth. Um, so the last few years I have been dealing with um, some cancer stuff. Um, I'm not going to go completely into it just because I'm trying to look on the positive side. Um, but so I just, it's been rough and that's why I haven't posted a lot. Um, I have been active on TikTok. Um, my TikTok name is Kita Knight, um, which, you know, shouldn't be a surprise. Um, but I also am now part of, part of a podcast called um, Age Before Beauty that is on the YouTube channel uh, Manic Expression. So go check that out. It's where me and my co-host, uh, James, we talk about the differences on how we see um, classic movies or classic shows and just and talk about wh why we love them, why we hate them, how we perceive them. And here's the catcher. He's 42 years old <laughs> and I'm 28. So it's from two different generations, and it's a pretty cool podcast so far. So if you haven't had the chance, go check it out. But if you're still here um, and watching this vlog, I encourage you to just sit back, relax, and let's just have some fun with it, okay? Let's go. So, um, today I'm going to be just kind of driving around looking at cool spots. Um, one of the spots I'm going to go look at is Glenching Mansion. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to record anything in there, but I'll at least get the outside for you guys. Um, and then I will be going to um, Beneville uh, today as well. Um, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong, but <laughs> well, um, and then, you know, you'll just see, like, in between little spots of, like, what I'm doing, and just some cool places that are here in Duluth. Um, so far, I can say that, you know, the weather's not too bad for it being December. It's 35 degrees out. With it being 35 degrees out, most people will be like, oh my god, it's cold, but for Minnesotans, this is just, you know, t-shirt weather. So, even with the lake effect, it's <laughs> it's not even that bad. So let's just keep going, okay?
So, I got to go see Glenjean Mansion, um, and I didn't take video of it. Um, I got the outside, as you saw. Um, the reason why I have a connection to Glenjean Mansion is because my great-great-grandmother on my mom's side was actually one of the very first maids that worked in Glenjean Mansion. And so, it's something that I wanted to see and visit, and just the history behind the Condon family was just amazing. And if you're up in Duluth, I would suggest going to it. The, the acres and just even the building itself, it is just a time capsule for what people, you know, with money used to, you know, do. And the fact that they're on the waterfront of Lake Superior is beautiful. The carriage house, just even their back fountain, <laughs> like, I just, there's so much there that I think is just so beautiful. And, you know, if I um, am able to incorporate some of the pictures, I will put some of the pictures in this video as well, just so then you guys can get an idea of just how beautiful and artistic this mansion is. They put in a lot of work, and it's more of the more humble mansions I would have to say um, because you know if you've been into a mansion you know that they can you know do all the works and everything but the interesting thing about this family is that they started out as teachers <laughs> and so I think it's very cool to see how they kept themselves humble in a way but also you know did you know, go out with wanting to show that, hey, we are doing pretty well for ourselves. And now, the thing is, with Gunshin Mansion 2, it's rumored to be haunted. That's because there was a murder here. Um, I don't know if it's haunted. I would love to one day maybe get the chance to go ghost hunting in it. But I don't know if they do that. Um, but there are tours. There's a full mansion tour. There's a... Uh, grounds tour you there's there's so many great things about this place i i love it and i love being able to come and have that connection with my family um just because my family's from the iron range we're from duluth we're from cloquet um you know when we were coming over here from finland in the early 1900s we were trying to escape persecution from the russians and the you know revolution <laughs> that and it's just as Finnish immigrants being able to work in a mansion as great as this you know it was a great honor and coming back as a family member now seeing where my grandma worked I just I feel honored that we are part of the history so I think it's just I think it's really great if you get a chance go check out Glenchine Mansion No, that's the guy who keeps staring at me. So, yeah, it, it's it's going great. It's just, yeah, I'm going to leave now. Bye! So, I was going to go and see if I could try to um, show you guys the Duluth Sanatorium. The um, sanatorium was a um, tuberculosis sanatorium in the early 1900s, possibly even earlier than that. Um, but it is currently unavailable um there's no trespassing signs and there's a creep who is sitting you know just watching me right now <laughs> but so yeah um people would come here if they had tuberculosis or were mentally ill um the ghost adventures crew actually came here to do a um investigation and um, I don't think it's open right now to the public. So instead of, you know, breaking the law or having this creep continue to creep on me, I think I'm going to go find something else to do um, because I value life. Uh, <laughs> one day, would I love to be able to go and see it and tour around it? Yes. 
uh, I would even love to go ghost hunting here. Um, but do I want to risk my life and be creeped on by some creeper who is wearing sunglasses and staring at me? No. So, let's go find something else to do. Originally in the video, I had tried to go to No Penning Sanitarium. Unfortunately, I was not able to because the gates were closed. Um, in this video, I, you know, I'm adding some pictures of what the sanitarium had originally looked like, what it has looked like over the years as it has deteriorated. Um, now I'm going to be providing some information on the sanitarium itself. Um... So it's a building that is in Duluth, Minnesota, and it operated as a medical facility from 1912 to 2002, and it is 10 miles away from the nearest town, which is Duluth. The history of the sanatorium, um, no pemming means out in the woods or in the forest. Um, the facility was built as a tuberculosis care center, starting with only 50 patients in 1912. To hold more patients, the facility gained two new buildings in 1915 and 1917. In 1918, the cloquet fire threatened the building, but thanks to early warning, all patients and staff were evacuated. In 1926, the original building was demolished and a newer, bigger structure was made. It was eventually expanded in 1927 and again in 1948. By 1930, the campus had about 30 buildings, including a steam plant, water filtration plant, sewage treatment plant, houses for the doctors, cottages for the nurses, and several cabins. But the building suffered during World War II when supplies were cut to the building. In 1940, a chapel was built there where weekly services were held. From 1985 to 1995, the building's sanity fell. The only two buildings remain today. Finally, in 2002, the building closed for good. When the building overcrowded and ran out of space, some patients slept and lived outside in tents, sometimes in snow. The building featured many balconies and airways as fresh air was at the time the best cure for tuberculosis. However, because of suicides, people would commit people would commit suicide on the balconies. Bars were installed, stopping patients from jumping off. <laughs> there is paranormal activity in this building. In, from the suicide on the balconies, people have made contact with spirits named Carol in the basement of the boiler room. A patient shot a staff, then himself, in what is known as Mother's Day Massacre. Bloodstains can still be seen on the walls today. Another fun fact about Nopeming Sanitarium. I have had family members who were at one point in time in no pemming they my mother's grandma ended up in no pemming because she had you know dementia and it was very sad at the time that's where she ended up because dementia we didn't know enough about it so i wish i would have had been able to go and see no pemming in person and maybe make contact with her. It's another place where I would love to be able to go and ghost hunt. But, you know, things are the way that they are. All right. So since we weren't able to go to the sanitarium, um, I decided to go to my next location, which is Canal Park, which we are here now. So we are going to be looking around some of the stores, going to be going on the bridge, going to be looking at the lake, you know, all the fun stuff. I, you know, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I know I'm having fun filming this, but you know, it is what it is. It's a pretty mellow vlog. Um, 
like I said, I'm doing this vlog while I'm supposed to be having surgery while I'm up here, so I figured I'd get this vlog done before I have, you know, surgery. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go. Got done at Grandma's Saloon and Grill. Um, definitely worth the, you know, money. <laughs> it's really good to go. Uh, I had their uh, Godfather sandwich, which is um, you have the choice of having it be a little cheesesteak or a uh, au jus um, type of sandwich. Uh, I did the au jus version because that's just how I am, and I really enjoyed it. So. If you're in Julius, go to Grandma's uh, Roll and Bar. Totally worth it. Amazing food. Amazing customer service. They are just really kind. Alright, so after adventuring for a little bit, um, now we are going to go to Beckleyville. Um, yeah, it should be fun. <laughs> 